One of my favorite home hacks is to save time and money when I'm doing a project. Tools are a great time saver, and if I get them at a great price, then I save money too. You might already have a power drill, and if you do, this video is specifically for you. Just like a good chef has more than one knife, multiple power drills are a great investment for DIY projects. Many projects require drilling, driving, and countersinking, and each of these requires a change of bits. But that slows you down and makes you less productive. Unless you have multiple tools ready to go. Today I'm looking at an import brand you might not have heard of. This is the Mencella EDLX1. It's available on banggood.com, a retail company that specializes in a variety of import products. They sent me this drill and asked me to give you an honest review. I'm not an affiliate, I make no money from this review or off any of the products that they sell. This drill is made in China, just like all of the other big brands you're aware of. But with plain packaging, no expensive marketing campaigns, and without the costs and markups of trying to sell through a big box retailer, you can pick one of these up for significantly less money than a brand name tool. But does it work? That's what I'm going to show you today. I took this drill to task and found a lot of things I really like about it, and a couple of things that didn't make any sense at all. So let's get going. Inside the carton is a hard shell plastic case that contains the drill, batteries, charger, and an assortment of drill accessories. First off, note the size of the drill. It's not too big and heavy. It feels like something you could have in your hand for a long period of time. It comes with two 21 volt batteries. It's great to have a spare battery so you don't need to pause your project to recharge your tool. The batteries have some charge in them right out of the box, but I plug them in to give them a full charge. The battery charger has an indicator that goes from red to indicate the battery is charged to green to show that it's fully charged. It took about an hour for each battery to receive a full charge. The batteries for this drill are specific to it, and the charger is designed just for these batteries, so you don't want to misplace the charger or you're going to have a problem getting the batteries recharged. The batteries slide into the base of the drill and snap into place. To remove them, you push down on the red release button and it slides out. When the battery is installed, the tool can stand on its own, giving you easy access to it. The drill itself comes with a ton of features, many of which are usually available on more expensive brand name tools. So let's go through them. Even if you don't buy this drill, you can use this as a feature list to check off against whatever drill you might be considering. Overall, the tool feels good in your hand. There are hard surfaces where the controls are, and soft grip surfaces where your hands come into contact with the tool while it's in operation. This drill has three different operating modes. It can be set up as a drill to bore out holes, or it can be set up as a driver to fasten in screws and bolts. It can also be set up as a hammer drill to bore into brick and concrete surfaces. You choose the operating mode by turning this collar to line up with the selector arrow. There's a speed switch on top that lets you choose between two different rotation speeds. The drill has variable speeds and the trigger is quite responsive and moves fluidly increasing the rotation speed as you depress it. Let's put it right to work with a couple of different materials. Up is an auger bit and I'm going to bore into this piece of pine. A smooth rapid cut, there was no wobble, it did a great job. Now let's try twist bits in the same piece of wood. Again, it performed well, cutting a nice clean hole. Let's see how it does with the plastic. Perfectly cut holes, fast and cleanly cut. Metal will be a bit more of a challenge. Let's see how it does. The bit wobbled out of the chuck and needed to be retightened, but I did get the job done. The drill had to work a lot harder, but it didn't seem to get bogged down. Now 
Next up was a concrete wall. The tool struggled a bit to get into the concrete. It chatted around the hole and made the hole a bit wider than the bit. It will work for concrete on occasional use. It doesn't get high marks for the hammer drill function. To use the drill as a screwdriver, there's a clutch mechanism that has 18 different intensity or torque settings. This is helpful when driving in screws. The correct torque setting lets the screws seat properly without being driven too far in and damaging the wood. The drill has a pretty industry standard way to change the forward and reverse rotation. A three position barrel switch lets you select forward, neutral or reverse directions. There's a light that automatically shines on the target work area. What I like about this design is that the light comes on when you give the trigger a little squeeze, but before the rotation begins. This lets you properly position the bit precisely before you start screwing or drilling. So let's see how this tool performs when it comes to driving in some screws. These are some wood screws and construction grade fasteners that are driving and extracting into a variety of wood surfaces. The drill itself has lots of power and performs well. A couple of final features to point out before I wrap up. The drill comes with this metal belt hook that you attach yourself. I find they usually get in the way. And here comes the first knock against the design of this tool. It was designed so the belt hook only works for right-handed people. If you're left-handed, the tool will be facing backwards and be clumsy to grab and return to your belt. There's a fabric strap attached to the back of the tool housing. I guess you could use this to hang it up somewhere. Now here comes something else I don't like about this drill design. There are two bit holders located on either side of the drill. These are well-intentioned features, but they're not well designed. The bits fit too securely into the slots. You can't pull them out with your fingers. You need something to pry them out. Other drills have magnetic holders, and that would have been a better solution than what this drill has. Earlier I mentioned the weight. This one weighs in at a pretty trim 2.7 pounds. That's a pound and a half less than the Ryobi drill, and half the weight of the Black & Decker drill. It's well positioned as a lightweight tool, but with a list of heavyweight features. Inside the plastic case, there's an assortment of drill and driving accessories. The first thing I'll call out is all the screwdriver bits and sockets are metric sized. If you're used to SAE or Imperial sizes, and you need to drill precise sized holes, these probably aren't much use to you. There are four types of bits. Auger bits for wood boring, twist drill bits for metal, plastic, and wood, brad point bits to keep the bit from wandering off at the start of a hole, and masonry bits for hammer drilling into brick and concrete. Also included are nine sockets from five to 13 millimeters with an adapter to fit them onto the drill. There's one more Phillips screwdriver bit in addition to the two that are clipped to the drill. Lastly, there's a flexible cup and lets you get the drill bit around corners and into hard to reach places. Let's give that a quick test. The flexible shaft goes between the drill chuck and the drill bit. The drill rotates the bit with the shaft bent into position. Okay, so that does the job, but things get a little wonky when the screw gets secured into the hole. Let's give one of these auger bits a quick test and see if they compare to the pro grade I used earlier. You can see it struggles just a bit to drill a clean, clear hole. That's a problem with the bit, and not the drill. Overall, I would expect that including a bunch of accessories in the drill kit is designed to increase its perceived value. But just like having a good quality drill makes your work easier, the same can be said for the accessories that you put in them. The drill itself is a great value for the price, and some of those savings can be applied to getting yourself a decent set of driving and drilling bits. When I got this drill, I thought I might use it occasionally, but I really like the feel of this tool. It's lightweight and it's responsive touch. I can see getting a lot more use from this Mencella grill, and you will see it in action in future videos. There's a link in the description with buying information from the Banggood website. Thanks for watching Amazing Home Hacks.